Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I have another pair of Rocky boots for a review. And these are a very, very popular model from Rocky called RY008. And uh, with currently over 600 positive five-star reviews on Amazon, these boots are very, very popular. And uh, one of the reasons, one of the reasons is because they're so popular is their price. The price is super attractive. Currently only $94, $94 on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Now overall, pretty good comfort. The only downside that I can say, tell you guys is that they are, they do take some time to put on and take off keep that in mind but if you do have time to watch the whole review let's get into it as some of you already know this review is specifically for my ultimate survival boots section so basically if uh, this wasn't just your regular tactical or military boot but something bad happened and you put it on or maybe you were already wearing it and now you had to survive you had to walk for miles you had to run climb fight do whatever is necessary to survive would they be good to survive in? How do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin. Criteria number one, of course, comfort level. And in order to test the comfort level of all the boots that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run, no stop, and then a five mile walk. Again, no stopping in between, no breaks, just to give myself kind of an even testing field for everything that I review. Um, on this channel and like I said overall the comfort is pretty decent there are a few different uh, factors that contribute to the comfort level and uh, let's start with the very first one of course the weight now this is size 10 and the size 10 is 15.3 very good um, to give you kind of the reference numbers is if you want something lightweight you're looking for something that is under 20 ounce uh, the more under 20 ounce um the boots are the heavier the more fatigue you're gonna feel from the weight the more under 20 ounce the boots are or shoes the the lighter they're gonna feel so 15 is definitely well under 20 ounce so pretty good definitely on the lighter side of course we have the flexibility of the bottom sole that contributes to the comfort level and here as you can see it is very very flexible we do have our uh inner sole let me see if i can get to it because like i told you in the beginning it takes uh, a while to uh, get in and out of there but uh check this out check out this inner sole look at the ridiculous amount of cushioning that it has i mean it probably has like the whole inch of cushioning very good i mean this is not something normal or standard that you would find typically in your boots or shoes but uh i like it it's uh definitely definitely very nice and cushiony has some pretty good heel bad uh shape to it and of course some r support pretty good overall i do like this inner sole i mean it's so massive and it's it, it does it does provide a lot a lot of um, cushioning now once you remove it there is nothing else it goes straight into the harder outsole rubber keep that in mind of course you have your shaft um, not too pleasant of the material here and uh, same thing with the tongue honestly I would recommend getting maybe a nice pair of thick socks that would kind of serve as uh, you know additional cushioning for the shaft because this material it does it does not feel good uh, if you're wearing thinner socks you definitely gonna feel it and it's not gonna feel very pleasant now the toe box itself the same thing goes for the toe box um, it is on the harder um, no, I wouldn't say it's composite or reinforced toe box or anything like that but still if you are not protecting yourself with some cushiony socks you are definitely gonna feel some fatigue from this uh, toe box because it is on the harder type of uh, side but let's move on to the criteria number two which is a proofing and protection now these are uh, not in any way waterproof keep that in mind they do have some vents for a faster drying on both sides which is pretty good so if you are uh, if you are getting them wet at least you know that they're gonna dry up pretty quickly 
um, on you plus this material is so thin it's, it'll definitely dry up very very quickly protection wise you don't really have that much now the toe I mean it's not reinforced but you do have the obviously the qualities of the material here that uh, give you a little bit not much of the reinforcement but just a tiny little bit the shaft is very very soft keep that in mind and you do have some reinforcement in the heel and of course some protection from the bottom but we will talk about it later let's move on to the criteria number three now quality and the design features now quality wise rocky i mean they have been doing boots forever they know exactly what they're doing whenever it comes to boots and just judging by this specific model i mean over 600 five star reviews on amazon the link is in the description below check it out so people do like these all right people do like these a lot now uh, whenever it comes to the design features usually here i talk about the lacing system and as you can see the lacing system here is freaking massive i mean there's so much stuff going on and that's one of the reasons why it takes forever to put these boots on and take them off you have uh, five close hooks um, of one type here at the very bottom and then you have four close hooks of this sort of type uh, uh, here at the top of the shaft and uh, the strings themselves they're not bad they slide slide through fairly easily all right but uh, I kind of do wish maybe I think would be what would be really nice here is the side zip uh, I think side zip would save a lot a lot of trouble with putting these on and uh, taking them off but if you don't mind it no big deal you are completely fine whatever so i mean it's just just putting them on and if you're wearing it for the rest of the day then it's fine it doesn't really matter but let's move on to the criteria number four now outsole traction and stability now this outsole is designed more for uh uh flat type of surfaces now in order to test the outsoles of all of the boots all of the shoes that I review on this channel I do uh, whenever I do my three mile run and five mile walk I do it on a variety of different surfaces starting with some older asphalt going to newer tarmac some sand dry sand wet sand dry grass wet grass rocky road trail surface some concrete some marble some tile all right now like I said this is designed more for sandy surfaces and for flat surfaces I would not recommend this boot if you are planning to use it in uh, some wet grass situations. I would not recommend this boot because this is not enough of aggression to be used in stuff like that. You, it will be very, very slippery. I mean, it was very, very slippery on the wet grass. Um, but they do perform pretty good on the sand, dry sand, wet sand. On the wet sand, a little bit slippery though. Um, they do perform fairly well on shiny surfaces like marble and tile um, but overall I think Rocky could have done a little bit of a better job and implemented a little bit more aggression just to make it more versatile this outsole keep that in mind keep that in mind uh, let's move on to the criteria number five now temperature now these are not in any way designed for colder temperatures keep that in mind these are designed for hot temperatures and uh, they are definitely very breathable in the hot temperatures doing the run here in Florida wasn't a problem at all but I wouldn't recommend them for colder temperatures uh, now the criteria number six the sizing these are definitely true to the size um, I always recommend getting half size bigger just to get a little bit of extra space in the toe box here is extremely important to get that because the toe box is uh, on the harder side so on top of having some thicker socks I would recommend getting half a size bigger so that you have a little bit of extra space here in the toe box very important will definitely help with the comfort level let's move on to the criteria number seven now the balance of application so if this really were your ultimate survival boots right would they be good um, I would say they are a pretty decent option um, I would like to see a little bit more of the aggression from the outsole uh, just for my personal preference um, I think it's uh, I think it would be much better if there was a little bit more aggression here um, the shaft I would say a little bit more cushioning in the shaft would be great to give a little bit of extra comfort and uh, the side zip this is what I would like to see in these boots um, other than that great great um, quality 
uh, great features. I mean, the the inner sole, it will definitely keep you nicely protected from some impact. You can run in it, you can walk in it, and uh, this amount of cushioning, this is definitely impressive. So uh, there are some things that you kind of compromise, but at the same time, there are some things that you are getting. And the very last one, which you're gonna like, is uh, criteria number eight, the price. $94, $94 currently on Amazon. And I think the price is definitely very, very impressive compared to a lot of stuff, similar stuff in uh, this category. Um, there isn't a lot of stuff in that price range. I mean, let's just just be honest. Um, you're probably looking at at least $130, $140 to get something similar uh, along these lines. For $94, I mean, that's definitely, definitely very impressive. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about this review? What do you think about this boot? Uh, if you are planning to buy this boot after watching this review, please consider using the link in the description below. Uh, basically, you're not charged anything extra when you're using the link, but Amazon does pay me the percentage for sharing that uh, link here on my channel and it's kind of a nice way for you to say thank you for the review so uh thank you very much guys for watching this was firearms of america and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video